Hey loves, so I'm back with another tag video and anytime I find a tag about lipstick, I get so excited because <laughs> it makes me feel like there's a reason I have an abnormally large collection of lipsticks. It's so I can share that knowledge in a tag video. If you guys have seen any other, so I've done the crazy about lipstick tag, which I'll link down below and now the perfect nude uh, lip tag. If you guys don't have any other tags in general that you want me to do or any related to lipstick, let me know down below. I'd love to sort of play with those tags. Um, and film videos about them. Um, so we are here to do uh, the perfect nude lip tag and if anyone ever tells you that nude lips are boring then they are boring because nude lips can be so much fun and honestly on a day when you've done sort of a lot on your eyes it it's nice to have something a little bit sort of more subdued but even on a day like this when I haven't done too much on my eyes a nude lip can be really really pretty and fun and I can feel awesome wearing it so um, I thought I'd share my uh, recommendations with you guys and unfortunately I don't really have any drugstore type um, nude lip products not because they don't exist just because um, I've sort of filled a lot of, a lot of my collection with uh, slightly more expensive products just because that's the way it's happened um, and so I haven't found a need to go out and hunt for a drugstore version, but if you guys have great drugstore um, dupes for any of these or uh, nude lip colors from the drugstore that you love, leave those down for me down below. Um, I'd love to check them out and do some sort of comparisons. If you have questions like how does this compare to that, I'll go to the store, I'll do some swatches, it'll be fine. Um, I'll post some pictures, it'll be great. Uh, so yeah, I do have a slightly more... Um, I don't want to say affordable, but slightly cheaper version and then a more high-end version. They're both high-end. One's a little more expensive than the other. Um, what else do I have to tell you? I don't really uh, find pinky nudes for me. Not that I don't like. I have a lot of subdued pinks that I like to wear. I don't really find them to be nudes. Um, if you guys have any recommendations on things I should try, again, please let me know down below. I just haven't found anything that I'm like, oh, that's a nude shade. I'm like, oh, that's a really nice baby pink or light pink. But in terms of nude, I gravitate towards the brownier nudes, which is um, what the two ones that I will show you are. Okay, let's not keep rambling. Let's show you. Uh, the first one that I have is the Clinique uh, lipstick, the Long Last, I think it's called. Long Last Soft Shine Lipstick. Um, it's a number three creamy nude. So you can, like you can see, uh, it's sort of a nice creamy nude. Um, it's got that brown in it. It's, it is it's really nice and creamy. Um, you get a bit of a shine. I know I'm usually a matte lipstick girl, but for this guy, I definitely make an exception. I do. I really like it. Um, this is definitely like my low maintenance go-to lipstick. Um, if I'm running out the door, if I all of a sudden just feel fine that I've put too much on my eyes and I'm going to the office, I'm like, okay, we gotta tone this down with something. I reach for this guy, and strangely enough, this is one I one I purchased on a whim. Um, I was at the airport coming back from San Francisco at the time, and my plane got delayed, so I went into duty free, which. Oh, if I was on YouTube, you would have seen the haul. It was bad. My plane got delayed twice. I already was sad about leaving the bestie. It was the star shopping disaster. Um, but this is one of the ones that I picked when I was there, and I love it. It's very well loved, uh, very nice and creamy. Because it's creamy, obviously, you just have to be a little bit more careful about not getting it on your teeth. But it's one of those ones that's pretty. It'll give a little bit of something, but once it fades, um, you're not really worried about like reapplying it because it hasn't stained and it wasn't like a bright enough color that it's like you've got a little bit of orange but not enough. It fades well basically is what I'm trying to say. So I really recommend that guy. Uh, the second is the combo I've got on right now which is a liner and a lipstick. And can you guess what liner it is? I've talked to this liner to death. <laughs> um, it's Max Nice and Spicy Liner with Tom Ford's Blush Nude Lipstick on top. So you can see it in the close-up. And then I did some hand swatches. So the darker color um, is the lip pencil on color in the middle is the lip pencil with the lipstick on top. And then the lightest uh, swatch is just a lipstick on its own. I um, do really like Tom Ford lipsticks. I do find that they're pretty creamy. Um, like creamier than the uh, Clinique ones, so I do want to always, I do tend to always line them. Um, and I find that, that with this one, I create a little bit like of an ombre effect. I'll go in once all over with my lip pencil, I'll go back in with a lipstick, and then um, blending, obviously, each time you apply anything. And then I'll take the lip pencil again, just in the outer corners, 
and blend that all in. Again, it's, it's what I have on right now, and I really like the effect of it. Um, and yeah, I, I just, I feel like it is sort of, it is one of my two favorite nude combos. I've got a bunch of others, but these were the ones that I could think of as like full-on nude combos that I really liked or loved actually. Um, let me know what you guys love to wear or to rock when you're uh, rocking a nude lip down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, that's uh, my thoughts, my takes. I'll list, um, again, the products, the prices, all that good stuff down in the description box. And And then before I leave you uh, for today, for now, <laughs> let me give you my three points of positivity. The first have been really sweet words of encouragement that I've gotten from all of you guys, whether it's, oh my gosh, your skin looks glowing and I've been having a bad skin day with like breakouts driving me crazy, or I don't know, great lipstick choice, or like sharing some sweet words. Um, it's meant so, so very much to me. So thank you. You guys always are really, really kind and just warm my heart and I really, really appreciate it. So. Yeah, that's been a huge for me. Uh, the second is I've officially started the Bestie Reunion Countdown. You all know, I'm seeing Alex in March in Vegas. It will be epic. I'm so excited. Um, and I've started the countdown, so it, it, it feels real. It feels imminent. I'm really excited about it, uh, and I can't, I just, I can't wait. And the third thing that I'm grateful for is a pizza party we had on Friday at work. Um, no kids, pizza party is not only for young children, adults have them too. Uh, team Canada, uh, the men's, Team Canada men's hockey team, there we go. We're playing the Americans on Friday morning, last Friday, I don't know when this is going up, but yeah. <laughs> um, and it was an Epic, epic, epic game. Amazing sportsmanship, amazing skill on both sides. Um, we did win, so I'm taking credit, even though I had nothing to do with that victory. But um, yeah, no, it was a really, really fun game. It was neat. We all got together, like everyone in the office got together in the boardroom. We were all cheering, all being nervous together. It was, um, it was fun. It was a really good time. So I don't know what that was, but uh, yeah, that was my third point of positivity. I am weird in this video. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, um, let me know what you guys are grateful for down in the description box. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't, and I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, whatever it is that you guys are up to, sending you tons and tons of love from snowy Calgary, and uh, leaving you by reminding you that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.